What's going on everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of Brutal War. We've got for you today Rush here in the bottom left hand corner versus Hero over in the top left We're gonna be taking a look at some ZVT ZVT because I have been struggling like crazy in this matchup We felt like we started to maybe get the hang of it a little bit after watching a bunch of action replays this morning and practicing our hearts out, but oh my goodness, guys. Things happened. Rage was induced. The brain vessels, blood vessels were burst. Oh man. If you didn't catch it, today's stream was brutal. If you want to see me rage like no other. You want to see a 10 out of a, or a 11 out of 10 rage moment. Just go ahead and check out my last game on ladder today or on stream today. Excuse me. I wasn't playing on ladder. I was playing against John again. Shout out to him. He's a Terran player about the same level as me. And things just were not going well, man. And it was actually on this map in this position. Right here was the problem. Or was it this map? No, I don't think it was, actually. No, it was a different map. It was like Vermeer or something like that. But it was bottom left-hand corner. He parked an SCV at the top of my ramp. And I sent Hydra. You know, you're doing all the things. You're a Zerg player. You're controlling Muta. You're teching into Lurker. You know, getting up into your hive. Getting your third base online, controlling your mutas. And I sent my hydras down here to get to the top of the ramp, and I did it like three times. I clicked my hydras to the top of the ramp three times. And they just kept he just kept walking down here at the bottom. At the bottom of the ramp, and I didn't realize there was an SCV here. When I finally realized I clicked him up to here and tried to make an egg and it didn't block. And we ended up losing that game, and I just about snapped my keyboard in half. My brand new keyboard. But that's neither here nor there, guys. We're going into this game with Rush, who threw down a little cheeky wall here on this map. What is it called again? Radeon. It's an AMD map. And Hero, he went for his 12 hatch, the patented, very standard play from him. We'll see if he puts down a 2.5 hatch. It's been really popular recently. It feels like, from what I gather and from what I've seen and from my own experience playing this, this specific build, that players will basically, if they can get away with making only two lings, that's all they'll make. And in that case, they'll just put down a third hatch because they've got the mineral income to do so. If they're forced to make like six or eight links by a lot of pressure from the Marines, then they might forego that and go into a two hatch and put down a later hatch at a third base. That seems to be my interpretation. That seems to be how this sort of plays out. Now we are gonna have a second set of links pop out here for Hero. That's purely, I think, because of the early game shenanigans that have been coming out of Terran players lately where they send just like three or four marines across the map and just try to kill a couple of drones if you're being if you're if you're skimping on those lings so he goes up to six actually and will he still throw down a third hatch it's kind of looking like he might although he's sending out a drone already so maybe he won't looks like a two hatch build from him two hatch I'm not sure what's triggered that here for him. Maybe seeing the number of Marines that have been built. He's sending links out everywhere. Just checking to make sure there's not a secret SCV out on the map somewhere that might come in and scout him a little later. They will be throwing down his third hatch over here at the top right. And I'm so curious about why so many players have begun doing this, putting down that extra hatch that third hatch actually at another natural. I don't know what the switch up was, but that's not supposed to be there. That's for sure. 
Bit of an error here by Hero, and that's a little bit cathartic to me to see him make an error like that. Certainly, that is not optimal. But I'm never able to make an optimal build on my own either, so... Feels a little bit... A little bit cathartic to see that. He's gonna lose a ling or two here. Rush is gonna sprint out on out. Try to deal... A couple of kills here. Any kills right now is going to make a Ling backstab a lot, a lot easier to deal with. A couple of Ling kills really makes this much less threatening. If you've got like eight Lings, you're ready to dive in. Becomes pretty darn scary for the Terran player. But here Terran is going for a four racks play. He's not going to try and push out. So no backstab will be forthcoming. Turrets are a little slow here. They're timed out right around six minutes, but Hero with that two hatch Hydra right at six minutes. Able to get in there and deal a little bit of damage so far. He hasn't really gotten anything significant, just a single Marine. And the turrets are coming up here. This is the play that I find to be one of the most difficult to deal with. This is four racks play. You can come in and sort of pressure the turrets here try to get the uh, Terran player to fall back but right now it's fine for Rush to be in his space he doesn't need to move out of the map right now he just needs to keep pumping his Marines and wait for that plus one plus one is now done you can start to push forward a little bit here uh, coming forward gonna take a quick swipe here hero picking off a couple of Marines Gonna pull together a total, almost 11 meter. Got 10 in the stack, there's the 11. One that is quite low here. Looks like it's gonna be targeted down by the missile turret, unfortunately. A bit of luck going that way for Rush here, and he gets some good trade with the Mutalisk right now adding on a few more drones here has that third gas up and running But can't really halt on Mutalisk production for now hero has to stay Poised to pressure this Poised to crush any move out here because this is a very difficult base to Protect over here in the top right hand corner Hero coming forward now with the Lings. Here we go. And the second group of Mutalus as well. Sensing that there was a few too many units up here in the main base. He split the forces of Rush. But Rush falling back to a pretty safe position here. Only losing a single Medic. And trading out quite a few of these Mutas. Some damaged Mutas going to be sent home for now. Going to repair those up. And by that I mean healing of course. We've got the small group here of Marine moving forward, threatening to counter, threatening to attack across the map. It's not quite ready yet, and that's a lot of mutas still left over. Hero, a threatening force here, which could overwhelm what Rush has. Evolution Chamber on the way over at this third base. Losing a couple of the mutas here and there. We'll be able to reinforce pretty quickly, though. We do have that plus one done. And two starports are finishing up here. Rush not m missing any beats right now in his macro. Filling out his supply nicely. Getting into his SK Terran style. We'll lose a medic there, unfortunately, for him. But Hero really does need to slow this down. He has to slow this down because we do not have Lurker just yet. Hydra's popping at the perfect time, as expected of Hero. And I guess if you're going to be morphing Lurker on low ground, you don't really need the uh, the ramp. You're not gonna you're not gonna worry about the ramp. There's if there's an SCV up there, but it, it does seem risky. It does seem risky. We've only got three Lurker over here. Maybe he can. Put a couple of sunkins. I feel like sunkins really help to make that a lot more safe because if you put sunkins 
If you do put Sunkins on either side of the Lurker, wow, he hasn't built any Sunken. Look at that. Something wrong with my mouse, man. It keeps doing that, especially in a game. It's very annoying when that happens. A little bit sticky on the extra fine mouse. Not too happy with it. If you put two Sunkins, and you put an Overlord over top of a stack of Lurker, the Marines will not target the Lurkers. They will only target the uh, sunken colonies, so your Lurkers can deal huge damage. Lurkers kind of sitting out here at the front. A lot of upgrades on the way here for Hero. This is the most difficult part of the game, honestly. We've got two vessels out here. The Irradiate upgrade just about finished. Will he be pre-splitting his meatless clump here? Heading up. Gonna go ahead and get some radiates down. We do not have a stack of lurkers here. We just have five lurkers. Which is vulnerable. Do some irradiates. Irradiates gonna go down here. Hero needing to bring through reinforcements. Set up a lurker egg here in the middle. Two lurkers go down. Defiler is out. It does have... Uh, it almost has consume here. There's the consume. It's just finished. Rush gonna try and break through here right now. Oh, the lurkers are getting quite low, but there's the dark swarm just barely in time. It's gonna try and swipe in here. We get a couple of kills with the mutas, but at the same time, drops heading into the main base. This is really scary stuff from Rush. Hitting a multi-pronged, multi-faceted attack here. Loses both of his dropships, though, and mutas should be able to clear all this up without any... Uh, medics to help the uh, mutas are going to clear everything really nice hold from hero on two fronts man any other player that's not a professional would just die to that that's so scary when a player is able to hit you like that bunch of vessels hitting right here at the perfect time with the Marine Medic, and then instantly afterwards hitting you with the dropship over in the main base. God damn, it's so scary. Rush is an incredible, incredible player, but Hero really blowing my socks off here by just holding everything. Absolute perfection. Now, vessels are going to come over towards the natural. Going to get rid of some of these lurkers, but we do have more lurkers being brought forward. We're going to hit the stim button, but Dark Swarm is ready. Dark Swarm plus Lurker. Not going to be able to break through that, at least for now. I think the real, the benefit of having this, the, the third base here is that you have the Nidus right there. And you can very quickly reinforce the position. Generally, when you have this base first, you have the Nidus over here somewhere. And you have to run forward and the Dark Swarm. I don't know if that's what makes this base stronger, but... Of course, you have this kind of free afterwards as well, but I don't know what kind of changed in the minds of Zerg's players, Zerg players recently that picking the natural is actually the stronger way to play, but I've seen a lot of Zerg players going for this lately, and it seems to be paying off, it seems to be working out. It's like they've gotten the rhythm of holding the natural against strong Terran players now, and really... Hero has held on to everything perfectly. He's done a beautiful job. More dropships are coming out, though, and he might get broken here. We don't have a lot of air defense over in the top right-hand corner just yet, and a nice plague comes out, but not good enough. Only plaguing a few of the Marines and a single science vessel. Gonna lose some, we're gonna lose some Scourge here right before the dropships come in. Oh no, that's painful. That is truly painful. It's gonna try and come out here with a plague right as the dropships are coming in. There you go, he sees it now. Hero may end up losing his fourth base really, really quickly here. Lurker's coming up on the high ground. He has to defend the natural at the same time as he goes about clearing this. Dark Swarm comes down. Quite a lot of lings here, but we do have some fire bats as well. Lurker gonna jump underneath that Dark Swarm. Can he actually kill it? He does get that kill. 
Rush dealing a lot of damage up here, but not breaking the base. Shockingly, he's not able to get in here and finish this off. We should have an Ultra coming out here soon. Ooh, that's quite a lot of Lurker Rush. Are you really gonna try and bust this right here? He's gonna try and gun down the Spore, I guess. There's the Dark Swarm. He will be pushed back. That was a lot of Marine deaths, man. A lot of Marines did fall there and looks like we finally cleared this out. Hero handling that beautifully. Rush, it really looked like he might be able to break through there, but Hero has so much macro now, man. It's kind of crazy. He's gonna try and dive in one more time with the dropships, but here's those Scourge and Muta ready to deal with that attack. No problem. Oh, he even dives on top. Whoa. Lost control of my screen there for a second. Marines are just so OP, man. It's crazy. Look at how many lings he was able to slaughter there. We even got plus one armor here. I guess plus two attack is done, but dropping now behind these mineral patches here. Gonna go ahead and burrow. This lurker, defend this base. Still a lot of craziness going on, but it's just about time for Hero to get on the offensive. He's not gonna sit back and just take it for too much longer. Eventually, he will want to get out here, but wait a second. There's no Lurker over here. He's sent everything across the map to deal with a, deal a counterattack. However, Fire Bats are going to come under this Dark Storm. Maybe he can break this position. There's only one Ultra here. One Ultra. Can it save the day right now for a Hero? Because he is, uh, like, really skimping on the defenses right now. He's losing his hatch. Oh, my God. The hatch goes down. That is brutal. I don't think we can get back here to clear these Marines either. This one Ultra sitting there. He's taking a smoke break or something. Just chilling right now. He needs to be sent forth to deal with these Marines, man. What were you doing during that attack? So we got a fire bat in here as well. Hero going to retake this base. Finally going to retake that. Get that up and operational. Plus three armor is now done, so... Hero would be fully online, except for the fact that this base was taken out. Really slowing him down. Meanwhile, Rush not slowing down even a second. Adding on a ton of new bases. Wow, look at that beautiful plague, man. Killing it with the plague. Absolutely ravaging that position. Gonna catch a rally of Marines coming across the map as well. And there's a, not a bunker here on this high ground, so a lot of the Marines are gonna die. Before the bunker can finish, this is a really great counterattack from Hero, actually. This is buying him a lot of time to get this fourth base online, get that fourth gas rolling. We've got battle cruisers coming out here. Good God, Rush is so strong and scary, man. It's insane. He's got this base over here. We've got this base over here. If Hero wasn't able to do some sort of counterattack right here and get these bases lifted off, we would have seen Rush on like five gases already. He would have been able to pump out so many battle cruisers. It would have been just insane. Where are these battle cruisers right now? Looks like they're killing an overlord somewhere in the middle of the map. Ultras are coming out, clearing a few of these Marines and that irradiate is gonna help them to do just that. Still some ultras down here in the bottom right. Kind of forgotten about by Hero for now as he tries to expand even further. GG is called. Wow, Rush cannot handle the pressure. It's just typical Terran things, guys. This is my salt coming out right now, but this Terran player, he can't handle dealing with attacks in three different locations. All the meanwhile, he attacks Hero for like five minutes straight. In the natural, the main, the third base is dropping everywhere, doing all these crazy multi-pronged attacks. Hero's having to react to everything. And then as soon as he gets out on the map, Rush just crumbles. Just typical, man. Absolutely typical. Well, that's just my Terran versus Terran Salt. That's my experience on the ladder, guys. If you want to come see me get absolutely crushed, 
by B rank and A rank players on the ladder. Come check me out on the stream, man. We're streaming every single day on Twitch, saying SE. Come check it out, man. Come support. Come hang out. Sometimes we play some other games as well when we get a little bit too tilted from playing ladder, but. Hopefully we'll have some good results. I'm aiming for A rank this season, trying to get there. It's been a real struggle though, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and study this replay now, guys. You go, go on, have a nice rest of your day. I'm gonna stay, study this replay, see what I can learn. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy, peace.